Meantime, today is an important day for a Rochester Hills family. As they commemorate a sad anniversary, their son, Sergeant Kyle McLean, was killed in Afghanistan. Paula Tutman joins us from Veterans Memorial Point with how this family is continuing to cope with the loss of their son and the fall of a country he died trying to protect. So if you're ever driving down Livernoy, and this is Avon right here, you might look over and say, well, this is a really nice park. But what you may not realize is this is really hallowed ground for several families, including one family, one local family, who lost their son in Afghanistan and today, in particular, are continuing to mourn his death as well as the death of the nation he fought to protect. Geraldine McLean is here often. Sometimes I have to come in between and weed and trim and add new plants like I'm doing today. There are many places in Michigan that have the name Sergeant Kyle McLean emblazoned, embossed and engraved. But this place is close to her home and close to her heart. Well, it's just a, a very nice place to come and reflect and remember. Today, August 16th, is the ninth anniversary of the day Geraldine and her husband Mike and their daughter Kristen and Kyle's wife Lisa laid him to rest. He died in Afghanistan August 1st, 2012, making life better for others. I feel very sad. I feel sad that this event has gone on forever and ever. And so many people, not just our Americans or like my son who died, but it's affected a lot of people. And as Geraldine watches the fall of Afghanistan to the Taliban, 20 years of war, 2,200 U.S. soldiers killed, including her son, $2 trillion later, her perspective is for a short window of time, life was made better for women and girls and children there. But there's people, normal people, and that's who Kyle went to save. He saved a town with his soldiers. My son helped them do it. He found bombs in the street, planted in the street. Those people couldn't go outside. They couldn't do anything. And so our American soldiers were doing their job. And it's just sad to me that now I don't know what's happening to that little town. And what she is angry at most is the inhumanity she believes is coming next. And I feel bad for those, the normal everyday people, their lives. You know, the kids, are they going to go to school? Are they, you know, do they have hospitalization? Or do they have food? I don't know. And that to me is what is sad. And it doesn't hurt less. It just hurts differently. But her pain is not just a mother's pain. It is pain for a nation that had only a brief respite of hope that now appears to be all but gone. You know, Geraldine says this, this is not about politics or policy. This is about people. But I know people also want to know, does she think her son's death and the death of so many others was a waste of time? Well, she answers that coming up at 6. Paula Tutman, Local 4.